Hello, hello, welcome on back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode. We are going to be doing Plantera today. That is the boss I was talking about for the past couple episodes. Um, there is a ball right over here. You actually kind of saw it up here on the top left of the screen. That's what a Plantera ball looks like. When that breaks, Plantera will spawn. And uh, we will have to fight for... I have a bunch of potions on me. Uh, we can take a look at them. This is all that I have potion-wise uh, in terms of a lot of these, so if we fail twice, I'm going to have to make a lot more potions. But uh, let's see, let's check out the arsenal here. I uh, got the pickaxe axe, of course, and the molten ham axe for uh, getting around. The Unreal Uzi, the Unreal uh, modifier is the best one available. The Demonic Titanium um, uh, Repeater, of course. Bean eggs, which we don't use that often in the past, but uh, considering I have 342 of them, uh, may as well start spamming those. We got the Optic Staff for the uh, twins to fight for us, and we can also lay down the Queen Spider. And apparently I also have a Jungle Bat banner up there. Um, yeah, so we're going to be passing up on the Storm Bow, um, I believe. Well, actually, uh, let's give a quick test here. If I'm down here, it might work, but um, if I'm up on the next level platform, it's not working. Yeah, so I have to be further down for that, because I, we need enough clearance in the air for this, the uh, arrows to actually spawn. And actually to deal damage. Um, it's not a bad weapon, but... Uh, it's not as precise as I can make the uh, Uzi or the repeater. So, we're going to go ahead and pass on those. But uh, let's go ahead and get Plantero started here if I can get back up in this hole. Ooh. <clears throat> you guys ready? I know I am. As much as possible, anyway. Alright, alright. Let's see where you are. There you are. So this is just the first phase of multiple that we are going to be seeing. We need to dodge these pellets as best as possible. Uh, by the way, this is our old Queen Bee Arena. I have modified it a bit to uh, encompass a few things like the Heart Lanterns and even have a spot for uh, a banner or two. Um, Banners are here. Let's see. If we use this instead. Would that be any better? Eh, kind of. Let's go and drink a potion. Health potion, that is. So, we're, we're doing pretty well against Pantera right now. Her spores are very annoying to dodge, and you constantly kind of have to go in a circle kind of formation. And here we go. Phase 2. Holy crap. I uh, did not expect phase 2 so quickly. Oh god. Now, this might be one of the spots where the storm bow is useful if I don't get caught up in everything uh, along with the Uzi. Those little plantlings, I guess you call them, uh, deal additional damage if you run into them. And we are dying pretty fast right now. Damn it. Oh well. Wow, I dropped 28 gold. That's a lot of gold. Oh, uh, but yeah, that is a... Uh, that is Plantera. Plantera is a very difficult boss to defeat, and I think we need to make that arena bigger so I can actually wrap around more. Um, I had expanded it ever so slightly before starting. Like, you can actually see these platforms on the right here. Don't go all the way over. And as well as the space down below, I made bigger. Um... But I think I need to make this bigger, even even bigger than what it is, uh, to have enough room to wrap around her as many times as I would like without having to worry about it. So uh, I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to make the arena bigger, better, better, uh, to hopefully defeat Plantera again. I also got to locate another bulb uh, for her, which, uh, ah, okay, there's one right there. It's actually not too far away. I might actually make the arena up to that point. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and let, give me a moment to do that, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back with an expanded arena. It's quite a bit, mu it's quite a bit wider actually now. Um, got a few extra platforms here. Also have the ability to hop down into some honey for a brief moment to get the uh, regen buff with that. 
I uh, made myself one life horse potion because I didn't want to farm out the materials for that because those take forever to make. Um, so the other potions on me, I didn't change up anything of my gear. Uh, I, I, I feel like we can actually do this with the right gear here and just, just because I took that damage I'm going to have to wait a moment. Uh, I'm going to go into this at full health and not anything less. Kill off these guys here. I also don't want to deal with anything with the uh, potion sickness either. Um, while I was working on this, by the way, I did end up killing uh, a few mimics. Uh, got a magic dagger, which I've already put away. Um, also got uh, a philosopher's stone and the star cloak. The Star Cloak allows me to have stars come down when I'm dealt damage, I guess, apparently. Apparently. Who knew? Alright, you know what? Uh, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Let's put the spider down. Uh, we need to get some... Whoa! Whoa! Let's get some beanades thrown on down. And let's buff. Let's let's not forget to buff, shall we? Wow, D Plantera, will you back off of me for half a moment so I can actually freaking do things? Jesus. Well, that didn't go well. That didn't go well at all. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need to get potions. So yeah. Be right back. Alrighty, it's been a few hours, but uh, finally we stocked all the potions, even made some new ones, uh, like the Rage, no, uh, the uh, Inferno? Inferno, yeah, Inferno. Uh, but I don't want to spend too much time over here, and I really want to defeat Plantor in this episode, so let's begin. Let's get back to our arena as fast as possible. She is coming up from down below. Let's go ahead and buff. Alright, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Where the hell is she? Where'd she go? There she is. I don't want to get stuck on her. Like, th th that is so goddamn annoying when that happens. I don't even know if I'm hitting her right now. Wow. Really? That is annoying. She is very annoying. Also, I like the music. But... Holy crap. I'm obviously doing something wrong against her. Um, oh, I also got summoning potions as well, so I should have had uh, two summons with the uh, optic staff. I, I, I'm obviously doing something wrong against her, but uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I don't think it's the arena size at this point, and why was I able to do her so fucking well the first time? Am I misunderstanding her AI or something? Did it, did it, does expert mode actually modify her A in that great of a extent? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research, I guess, at this point to figure out what the fuck I'm doing wrong, because I, I have no idea. I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, be right back again. Alrighty, after some research, found that most people are recommending the Uzi and the Flamethrower for the second, uh, Barrage. Uh, I made the flamethrower from illegal gun parts and the, the, I don't remember what else actually. <laughs> I know we looked at the recipe at one point and I, I said I was going to make it. I finally did. Uh, also made some chlorify bullets. Uh, went around mining up some chlorify and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, got that made. Uh, we, we actually went a bit too far over. So we're going to give uh, this flamethrower and Uzi with the chlorified bullets a try. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it works a lot better in our favor. Uh, they were recommending the um, flamethrower for the second stage, which I, I could definitely see being useful. And we need to get that guy back up. 
Um, I'm trying to avoid using any of the Chlorify bullets uh, before we actually out before we actually get there. So I want my summons and my armor bonus to actually do a job. Oh hey, Turtle Shell. Let's do the three of them that we need. All right. Down we go. Um, I need to look for another Planetary Ball, but uh, uh, let's see, Planetary Ball, Planetary Ball, but I don't recall seeing one. Is that no? It's a chandelier. Should appear pink on the map. Is that one? No, it's a life crystal. Um. Campfire. Why the hell is there a campfire way over there? I don't know. I don't know why there's a campfire over the way over there. Is that one right there? No, it's another life crystal. What's going on over here? Um, okay. Oh, we gotta look for another planetary ball, it looks like. I don't think I have one on the map that I know where it is. It's a pot. Yeah, I'm not seeing one, and uh, hopefully I'm not overlooking one anywhere. So I guess we are going to be on the lookout for a Planetara Bulb. Uh, we'll, we'll spend a bit of time looking for one. If I can't find one, I will uh, simply cut until I do. Hmm. Oh hey, another Mimic. Hello Mimic. How you doing? What are you gonna drop for me this time? Uh, cross Naculus. Oh right, we got one of those before. Uh, yeah, invincibility increases the length of that. Yeah. Terra bombs. I need one. Where you at? A terra bomb. A terra bomb. Anywhere? No. Yes. No. Uh, I can also help to get one to spawn in by breaking the terrain since they spawn randomly. Like these uh, background objects, kind of. If I break them, then they can allow a planetary bomb to spawn in its place. Oh, hello. How you doing, turtle? See you right there. Damn, did not get another shell. I was hoping for one. Uh, let's see, even if we find a Plantera Bulb, I need to know where the hell I need to go to get out of here and back to the arena. Uh, right now it is currently directly above us, that's good to know. I've been letting this coral fight grow as much as possible, by the way, before harvesting it. It's been helpful. What the hell hit me? Those. Oh, the turtle over there. Oh, the turtle. Didn't get anything from him. I would love to get a third uh, shell for the turtle armor. I really would. I'd be able to increase my defense so much more. And how have I not placed any torches around here? Especially considering how long I was around here uh, setting up the arena. Uh, by chance, did any of them spawn over here? It's kind of chop down the tree, like with this one. No, it doesn't look like it. Alrighty. I think I will cut until I can get a, another Plantera bulb to spawn. Um, I would craft the summoning item for Plantera, but uh, you need to defeat Plantera once in order to actually craft the item because it requires stuff from uh, the next area uh, that we don't have access to just yet. I will be right back as soon as I find a plane terrible.
Alrighty, I found another Plantera bulb. It, I actually found it on the map before I found it here. Uh, made a direct line down. I... Moth? Oh, it's not Mothra. I thought that might have been Mothra for a moment. Uh, Mothra is a uh, boss later on that uh, we would run into. Alright, um... Yeesh. Inventory full to no tomorrow. Uh, I think we're as good as we're going to be, outside of our health being a bit low. And the fact of that we have potion sickness for another 40 seconds, which is why I'm waiting to destroy this bulb. Let's see if we can't get a campfire down really quick. Help us regen some of this health. I'm, uh, I, I was avoiding using the, uh, the the gun this entire time, so I still have the four stacks of uh, chlorophyte bullets on me. Uh, in its entirety, I also have a stupid amount of gel on me for the flamethrower, which I suppose I could actually use some of that, but uh, that's what the flamethrower does, by the way. It was flames, go figure, right? Alrighty, health, health is doing good. Uh, I am essentially breaking this bulb and going straight on up now. Let's go ahead and buff. Alright, Plantera, where are you coming from? Down below? Alright, let's head on over to the far left here. Come on, Plantera. Come on up. Yeah, what the hell's up with Plantera? Why is she able to move around so quickly now? Is it because I made the arena bigger? Might also be because I made the arena bigger. Because yeah, she is able to keep up with me completely. Alright. Well. This arena is obviously not working. I've either made it too big or too small. I don't... I, I, I honestly, I think I made it too big at this point. Uh, because she is able to fly around, she's not gripping to anything, and I think this is what's causing her to be able to fly around at me. Um, I guess I'm going to have to make some more modifications to the arena. I will be right back. Once more. Alrighty, I am back once more. Hopefully with a technological solution. I found this on the Terraria wiki. Oh, go away. Let me ask for you. I found this uh, suggestion for a battle setup on the wiki. Um, essentially, you have your weapon, you fire at the Plantera near constantly, and uh, when you want to go back to the other side, by the way, the Queen Bee showed up, but she died within moments. Um, yeah, so when you want to go to the other side, like, you can stand here, fire away, when you she's coming close, you jump, and you go to the other side, you can continue firing down this chamber. Uh, left and right. This is a hundred and this is roughly 125 tiles wide um, for this particular tunnel. I was going to make it 175 wide, but uh, I decided not to because there, there are some bugs apparently with this method, and I don't want to keep mining. Um, you, can, you can actually see I had started to mine some more over this way, and I'm just like, nah, screw it. Uh, but as you saw, there was a Plantera bulb over here, so I'm uh, I'm I'm interested in trying this method out. I'm hoping this method works. If not, I don't know what I'm going to be doing uh, for a solution. And what I do know is those granite golems are really annoying. So here goes nothing, I suppose. There's Plantera. Oh, coming from that side actually, huh? Okay, that's perfectly fine. So let's see, we teleport and now we can go ahead and fire it this way, wait for her to come over. She's getting too close, so we teleport over. Uh, there is a bit of a problem with this particular setup and uh, I'm well aware of uh, what the issue is. I did not set this up in its entirety because of the fact that uh, it's going to take quite a few blocks to do so. And 
I'm not entirely sure how effective this method is. It is a bit annoying, though, that's for sure. I could do this for days. Ow. Uh, one thing that was changed uh, was the fact that everything around here is supposed to be solid, so she only has that one spot to actually cling to and forces her in the center here. There's no way I'm able to tank that much damage at all. Yeah, there, there's no way this is going to work out the first time. Um, let's actually head back home. She's going to despawn. I, I like that method. I, I think it'll work. Uh, what I think I need to do, however, is fill in the rest of this area so she only she can only be stuck in the center uh, because otherwise she's able to move outside of the uh, the walls where I want her to be it's uh, it's a bit of a problem in that regard so I'm gonna have to do that I will be right back